what is going on everybody? It is your boy Shogun the Leader here back again and today we are here with another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke here on the channel. Now in the last episode we defeated Mars single-handedly, absolutely demolished her and we made our way to the beginning of Eternus Forest. I have not yet entered but we are about there. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. So in today's episode, we are planning to get through Eterna Forest, make it to the other end, and hopefully make it to Eterna City. Now, if you haven't watched the last episode, I highly recommend you do. Um, stuff happens, you know, man? And every time you miss an episode, stuff happens. And if you watch this episode and not the last episode, you're going to miss the stuff that happened. So you should definitely go back and watch stuff that happened. Because if you haven't watched stuff that happened, you won't be caught up for the stuff that's going to happen right now. So please, by all means, go back and watch stuff that happened while we start this team recap. We'll wait for you. <laughs> so, leading the pack today, because I might, maybe, kind of, sort of, might get some training in with them. We have Mars, the newest member of our team, our Ponyta. Uh, she's level 9, currently rocking Growl Tail uh, Tackle and Tail Whip. We have Shaw, our Natu. At level 14, rocking Peck, Leer, Nightshade, and Teleport. Rihanna, our level 17, Ampharos, at La Brrrra, rock and Tackle, Growl, Thunderjock, and Thunder Wave. Ryan Nick, our level 15, Dragon Air, our wonderful starter, with Dragon Rage, Leer, Thunder Wave, and Twista. Chili, our Galele, at level 16, rock and Powder Snow, Icy Wind, Double Team, and Fight. Finally, Kingsley, our Nidorino, at level 16, rocking Leer, Peck, Poisoning, and Rock Smash. Alright, so like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna keep trucking along. Um, crap. So, this is an issue we might have to run into. Um, now, obviously, if you guys don't like how I'm deciding to do this, you can comment and change that if you would like. Um, since we are here with Cheryl, um, we are and we're gonna be going through here together with her. Um, Death is still gonna be on. I'm not gonna change that because that that's just a part of the luck. That's part of the challenge. If a Pokemon dies, even if she heals them, I'm not just gonna use it. That's just that's cheating. That's not fair. Um, what I will be doing is all the encounters are also. Double. Double battles. I personally will not make any attempt to catch any of them. But the moment Cheryl leaves us, I will run back into Eterna and I will go get my encounter. If you guys do not like that, please let me know. We'll just trash the encounter. It's not an issue at all. We won't use it. It's simple. But that's just how I'm going to take care of it. Um, Because I'm going to I'm gonna go through Eterna with her. Simple. We're going to try to get here through here as fast as possible. Um, and in the process, we'll actually learn what type of route this, uh, uh, forest this is, I guess. Because it should still be type-themed. Um, and we are in a group- oh, that's kind of funny. A grass-type forest? That's- that's really funny. And she has a corefish. She's a corefish. Wow, it's a level 20 corefish, though. Hopefully it can help, uh, Mars get some levels. Hopefully. I know. I know it knows more than water type moves. Oh god. Oh, she's dumb! <laughs> oh, she's an idiot! Yo, the one time I don't know a fire type move, you're gonna pull out Sunny Day? You're gonna pull out Sunny Day, dog? Mars might get the clappy. Why do you Sunny Day twice? Why is everyone stupid? Why are you using Harden? You're level- there's no way all you know is Harden. You're level 20. Granted, like, a, 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 a grass is special. Grass is special, most likely. At least to my knowledge, grass is, uh, is mainly special type moves. I, on the other hand, might get absolutely- There's only- these, these, these wild Pokemon are stupid. Okay, I don't know if I can handle much more of this. I don't know if I can- I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it, man. Uh, but anyways, since we're, you know, wasting our time anyways, might as well talk about today's question of the day. Today's question of the day, um, unlike the previous theme of favorite and least favorite, we're gonna jump into another favorite very quick like. Um, what is your favorite Pokemon type? Pokemon typing. 
Now, this can be either, um, in this case, I'm going to talk about solo typing. Um, in a future question of the day, I might talk about double typing, you know, dual types. Um, because dual typing is always interesting. Um, and always a misconception for some people. Um, but if we are talking about the list as I have designed it, favorite typing. Now, uh, bear with me. I do not remember every single Pokemon type in the game. Um, so, whoops. Um, but we'll go off of the journey. Um, your starters, obviously. Um, water, or at least in Pokedex order. Uh, grass, excuse me, Morty. Um, fire, water, in that order. Usually. I believe all the games are like that. Don't do not quote me. Anyways, um, grass. Um, I like grass types. Um, they usually have pretty interesting designs. Uh, they're just weak. They're just weak, man. If they, if they, um, and by weak, I, I don't mean, like, they're not powerful, and they can't last their own in a battle. By weak, I specifically mean, I believe, if it's not bug, it's grass. One of the two. Um, they have the most type weaknesses. Or a base grass type has the most weaknesses out of any Pokemon. Again, that doesn't mean a grass type Pokemon can't be powerful. Um, it just means they're at a huge disadvantage, right from the get-go. Um, they're at a huge advantage just for existing and being a grass type. That's usually why grass types are mono, not mono, sorry, um, are dual types. Because a solo grass type is not exactly competitively viable. Yay, Mars leveled up. Mars leveled Ember! Yay! Yay! Wow, this might actually go really, really well. But, um, I just wish grass types were stronger, man. Um, cause they're, they're cool. Uh, I, I mean, I don't have a, a person least favorite Pokemon type, personally. Uh, there's the Moss Stone to evolve Eevee, right? That's cut. We can't go that way because... We don't have cut yet. Ooh, this Resurrect's interesting. Or area, I guess I should say, in this case. Definitely would like a grass type. Or at least in the box, you know, not gonna lie. But, um... I was going on about something. Grass types are cool. Grass types are cool. Um, moving on to fire types. Um, if it isn't obvious, fire types are my favorite type. Specifically because Infinite's not an infinite home to it. Um, fire fighting is always interesting for some people. Um, I like it. I like fire types. Um, again... Uh, and again, they're gonna need a lot of the same for me when it comes to this topic, but you know, they're interesting types. Um, obviously, some of them are hit or miss. Like, hmm. I like Tardinator. Granted, we're talking about base fire types, not dual. But, I'm not a fan of Tardinator, man. He doesn't do. He doesn't. Ooh, he just doesn't do it for me. He just does not do it for me. But fire types are great. Like uh, again, favorite typing. Um, I'm actually looking into all uh, pure fire. Wow, that's a decent list of pure fire types. I also like the decision that um, Sword and Shield made, or um, Game Freak made for Sword and Shield, where they made all of the starters um, base. Um, I thought that was super super interesting. For me. I don't know what it was. I did also like how they made the previous games, um, multi type, all dual types, specifically because, um, everything was like, had double the chance of being weak to each other when it came to the starters. So I just thought that was cool. This thing has a black sludge and it's just holding it. You would be a fun encounter. I would love to catch a character. I don't use character very often. I use characters once. Actually, I think I use a cacnea and then I, I just decided to not use it anymore. But whatever, man. They have Mars. You go on up. Get stronger, baby. Let's go, baby. Hmm. But I guess that ends the suspense. You know? Fire types? Cool as hell. Every time I play a new Pokemon game, for my first journey, it's gotta be a fire type. Elite Four, Liliana, and Director Pi. Speaking of fire types. This is an adorable team we're fighting. I love it. But anyways, 
moving down the list. Water types. Fucking awesome. Um, I don't... My issue with water types is that there's so many of them. There's so many water types. I believe they're the most popular type in the game. Granted, it, like Pokemon, and I'm like a real one, I guess it's to say. Um, what is it? Water dominates most of the world. So I get it. Like, it makes sense. But, um, oh, I am kind of lit. Oh shit, I hope that kills the vampire. I don't like how there's too many of them, and of course with a population that large, um, they're not all gonna be winners. There's no way. There is no way they're all gonna be winners. Because, you know, that's just how it works. Yes! Good thing this thing. Shit. Oh, I'll probably be able to kill it with another amber. Mars is uh, putting in a surprising amount of work right now. Very, very surprising amount of work. Oh shit. I don't like how there's too many of them. Um, that's my one downside with water types. Other than that, I, I love using them. I almost make it a priority to have a water type with my team at all times. Um, just because they're so useful. And not having a water type is... Kinda scary. Kinda scary, honestly. Fuck. Fuck. Well, that's just my opinion on them. Um, let's see. Next would be normal, I guess. Um, they're just bland, man. They're just bland types. Um, and adding normal doesn't always help to a Pokemon. Um, granted, they're, they are not strong against anybody, but they're also not really... The Reed gets one type, and the Reed gets fighting, which I guess is interesting. Um, a lot of Pokemon don't even get fighting type moves. At least, to my knowledge, they don't. But that just might be my headache. But, I don't know. I, I just don't remember a lot of Pokemon that um, have fighting type moves. I don't know fighting types. Um, but yeah. Um, normal types are just plants, and I think they're like the, if not, if not bug is, bug or flying. They're like one of the most popular types as well. Can't remember, can't remember it exactly. But, normal types are just bland. But moving on in that regard, uh, fighting types. Fighting types are interesting. Um, I don't mind fighting types, but I do not like fighting type gyms. I just think they're rehashed, um, d nothing against Bryce, like, uh, Brawly and Eileen and all that stuff, it's just, I don't like, I don't like, why? <laughs> why would you use Reflect? Actually, um, this thing knows Vice Grip, so I don't blame her. Why would you sketch Ember? Actually, I don't know if you can decide who you sketch her, actually. Imagine you sketch the, the Lydian, and, or, a uh, Light, like, Lydian, and, uh, learn fucking reflect um but yeah fighting nerds I, I don't hate love them I don't hate them fuck that's the issue <laughs> you used both so now this is gonna be annoyingly long ah yes the ever powerful ember but um yeah man fighting types just don't like their gym leaders or don't like their gyms I guess they're very human-esque, and whoa! And a lot of um, a lot of people, not anybody that I've talked to personally, um, but a lot of people um, on the it, thank you. A lot of people on the interwebs uh, do not seem to like humanoid-esque Pokemon. They want their monsters to remain monster types or monster-like, which is cool. It's cool, I guess. Your moves it sucks. You only know mod much as an attacking. Anyways. Um, but a lot of people don't like human and Pokemon, um, and I get it, um, I personally don't mind, I don't care, um, if you believe in evolution and all that junk, then, ooh, Mars, you are making quite the, um, quite the other reason, for, quite the fight for yourself to stay on this team, quite proud of you, quite, quite proud. 
Excuse me, Morty. But yeah, man, that's just fighting tips for me. Um, flying. Um, flying types are super pivotal in a lot of games. Um, because, you know, HMs and all that junk. I don't know if I want to fight every single thing I run into. I, I have some interesting encounters in here. These are all the same. There's not one I wouldn't want or would want, I guess I should say. Fuck, man. Like, let me get through. <laughs> what? Two characters? That's kind of funny. Um, but, but anyways, um, but, uh, flying types are important, and some, some people say, like, they're also necessary on teams. Um, oh, Cheruby, a Cheruby, you, you were a pain to catch in Sword and Shield for me for whatever reason, and I didn't think of soft resetting, I'm dumb, and an idiot. But, um, man, flying types, flying types are flying types, man, I love them. Metal coat. I don't know what that actually does outside of the trade often. Oh, come on, man. Is there anything up here? I don't remember the layout of, uh, of Eternal Forest too, too much. Hmm. Uh, but, you know, we're gonna truck on through. Truck on through. Uh, da da. Fire are cool. That's all I really gotta say about him. Um, moving down the list, uh, poison types. Um, now, poison types are the owners of my least favorite Pokemon, if I remember correctly. I mean, I don't like it that much, so I can't even remember. It, I can't even bother to remember its typing. Um, I only remember. That is amazing. That is an amazing item for. Oh my god. Um, but I knew I was gonna encounter a Grottle here, or like a like a starter of any kind. I I, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. Like, I probably should kill it to get that extra XP, but nah. Uh, if you guys uh don't wanna just hear me ramble and didn't see nothing but battles, man, you wanna see some content. Ugh. I can't always come back to battle these on my own, right? Yeah, I think I can double battle them on my own later. We have a definitive answer on uh, what is next. The Moonstone. <gasps> that's really good! That uh, That's the stone I need to evolve. Kingsley, right? Yes! Fuck! But um, that, that's the other thing with Poison Type. It is... Uh, it is home to some of my favorite Pokemon. I love King, um, not King, sorry, Nido King and Nido Queen. I'm more of a Nido King guy myself, but that's just me personally. Um, but, like, Poison types are meh to me. Like, very meh. Oh, I think that's the end, right? Uh, do I want to do some more training? I mean, I don't know what level Gardi or Gardenia, uh, whatever. We'll come back here on our own. We gotta make it to Eternacy. Thank you. I, I, I wish I could see you some other time in the future, but that's, you know, that's not gonna happen. I mean, unless I do cheats to get the deal. Are you sure? Maybe Battle Frontier? Because I know that's in this game. We're supposed to be in this game. Alright, so this is 205, so I can't get an encounter. Simple. Is this a hidden item? That's good though, we got Mars up to speed with the rest of the team. And I just ran through that whole grass patch without a single encounter. That's amazing. <laughs> but, um, poison types, poison types for me. Um, electric types. I love electric types. I would argue they are like my third favorite type, um, personally. Um, I have a lot of mixed feelings against electric type Pokemon, because they, um, sometimes cause problems for me. Um, and sometimes they get bailed out, in my opinion, like, with only having one major weakness, and then getting the huge buff of, oh, your own moves don't damage you no matter what. And, like, that's good for them, right? But, mm, 
not so much for me. We made it! All right, we're in a turn of city finally. It took us like four episodes. Oh, Team Galactic. We're gonna have to talk to Cynthia soon. Ooh. Uh, spoiler alert, that's the champion of the region. <laughs> But yeah, Electrotypes are awesome. Um, Electros kind of pisses me off. How does Levitate? I mean, it's not, uh, to my understanding, it's not like defensively power, like a defensive powerhouse in that regard, but um, it definitely, definitely is one of my favorite types. Oh, th th thanks. Brother Decker is actually really useful for when I, you know, need Pokemon friendship, but that's a good thing I don't right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Bum, bum. Ooh, boy. Electro types are cool. Um, ground types. Since <laughs> we're on the top of electro types. Um, do, 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 do. Mm. Do, do, do. This, this music is always so soothing. Yay, now I should be able to get fossils made if I looked at the guide correctly. Um, Alright, th thanks dude. I don't, I don't need all this. Our armor fossils, my only only new skull fossils. Um, probably because of different games. I don't know. But yeah, um, ground types would be next on the list, and ground types are also interesting, super useful, super useful, and they have one of the best moves in the game, fucking Earthquake, that's fucking awesome. Um, I don't know, ground types are cool, I, I don't mind them, I don't dislike them, you know, they do the job, and ground types are super useful having your team. Um, but, there's, no, I have no love lorn with ground types, you know? Ground types are awesome. Ground types are awesome. In the regards of, they're also usually tanky. They're also usually really tanky. And that's a good thing. Psychic types, always cool designs, always powerful moves. Um, stats are usually mediocre. Um, psychic types are definitely up there for me in the top five, probably, because uh, I just like psychic types, man. I think they're cool. I think they're cool. Oh, TMC7. That could be a thing, maybe. I don't know. What is it supposed to have? Great. Um, I hate it. 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 Why would Why would you give me shit? Why would Why would you literally give me trash? Why would you literally give me garbage? Ugh. What? Weasel, Cedra. I would love to, kid, but. I ain't got one. Oh, name rate. <gasps> oh, we can get the manky now. Oh, all right. That works for me. We'll have to do that on our trip back. I feel like I just found a deep sea deep sea tooth a minute ago. Let's double check. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, it's fine. I wouldn't know. I haven't done it yet, maybe. Oh, alright. I just walked into someone's empty home. Yes, I am. Who are you, sir? Give me my EXP share. I think that's what you give me. Another lucky. I've met 105 Pokemon. I have a feeling that's bullshit. <laughs> I feel like that's bullshit. But this changes uh, the grinding process exponentially. 
That's gonna help a lot. The psychic types are cool. Rock types. Um, I don't care for them. I do not care for rock types. Um, and they're usually just ground types too. So, no love, no hate. Just, just don't care for them much. Um, we're gonna pause that conversation for a second. Howdy, y'all. I'm Gardenia, and I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. I, I don't know what the accent is anymore. And actually, his name was Benson. He told me about you. He said that another challenger's on the way. So that made me angsty. In my gym, no one gets to battle the gym leader me until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. I think I was going for a cowgirl or a cowboy voice, and it migrated itself into Goofy, and that's not that's like the, the great thing. But um, I have to go back into Inferno and get a, get an encounter. Ooh, oh, I'm afraid of this. So I have a friend who has been oh, I need an egg. I need to get the egg. I, I think she she said it does give me an egg, right? I'm pretty sure she gives you an egg. We're gonna temporarily put away. We're gonna definitely put Mars in the less sad. And I'm gonna get that egg. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna hatch it. I'm gonna hatch it. And I'm pretty sure she gives you an egg. But I have a friend who has been... Um, she's probably watching this if you are. Hello. Um, this year. <laughs> but she has been religiously... Um, on my ass about this specifically. Um, she loves Cynthia. She loves Cynthia. So she does not want me to mess up her voice. I have not come up with an adequate voice. And I think I'm just gonna try to talk all regal, you know? We're gonna give it a shot. Um, oh wait, is it Barry first? Oh wait, maybe Cynthia's afterwards. Oh man, I'm not remembering Platinum as much as I used to. Thud. Hey, show. You came to see the statue, right, of Jimmy's mom? We're gonna walk to Jimmy's mom's statue, and our boy is here. What the? So, this is Eterna's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh are the Pokemon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth is truth in investigation. Pardon me. Stand aside. Kind of like that, but, you know, Cynthia. No, <laughs> oh, hey. When we smack together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a Jimmy's mom tamer. Listen. Make certain all your attacks hit. May avoid enemy attacks. Do that and you'll never lose to someone else trying to claim Jimmy's mom. You'll be the invinci Yod <laughs> invincible trainer. Anyway, go check out the statue of Jimmy's mom. See you around. Goodbye. I really thought Cynthia was gonna be up there already. But we're gonna finish exploring this little, uh, this town. Um, and we're gonna get some encounters. We're gonna get some encounters. This might be a little bit of a longer episode than what, uh, than what we're used to. And to that, uh, I apologize. Why did I say yes? Why did I say yes? Why did I say yes? Oh, and I'm not even done with the list. Um, ice types. Super, super cool design. Super, super cool. Um, I love ice types. They're just fragile, man. They're just fragile. And fragile types don't do it for me. Um, it was the, like, there's a Pokemon in Sword and Shield that is really cool, but it's an ice bug type. And that doesn't jive. That is not the wave. Is it... Eterna City has an encounter. Interesting. I have 211. So I have...
we encounter is that I can take care of. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to do them yet. I don't know if I want to do them yet. Um, there's this house. I think that, is this not a store? No, no, that's the other town. That's uh, Cynthia's home. Oh, it is a store. Then what the fuck? You're like, what do I remember from this game, and what do I not? Anyways, um, this is the herb shop. Herb. Oh, is there a bunch of fucking herbs? Um, ice types. Really, really cool designs. Too fragile. Too fragile for me. Bug types. Same issue as grass types. Uh, too many. Uh, or too as water and grass types. There's too many, and they um are rather weak. They have too many weaknesses. I knew it. I wasn't wrong. Fuck you. Um. Dragon types, second favorite type, really, really biased, but um, dragon types are awesome. Their designs are just so creative, so innovative, and they're so powerful. Um, and in Gen 4, uh, and anything before Gen 6, they're terrifying. And that's what dragon is supposed to be. And now they can be like a fucking power of light or whatever. But, whatever. Um, oh, that device you have? I hope you like, I like, I hope you, I hope you like this voice, Julia. Is that a Pokedex? <laughs> wow, it brings back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? <laughs> okay, hello, show. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eterna City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. <laughs> if only you knew how many sa- <sighs> Oh, I know. Try using this. It should be helpful. She can be cut. Remember, the hidden move cut can only be you can be used in the field. It'll let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Oh, there's one last thing. Please give my regards to Professor Rowan. So she doesn't give me an egg? What do I remember from this game? Cause like... I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. But now that we've handled most of the story stuff, um, I am quickly gonna get us our three encounters, and then we will call this episode, uh, bye-bye. Um, but that gives me more time to talk about the typings real quick. Um, I went the wrong way. Um, but dragons are fucking killer. Hello, dragon types. Dragons are awesome. Um, but our encounter for here is... So we'll grass type, what do we get? Leafeon! Okay. I like evolutions. Evolutions are fun. I've never used a Leafeon. I own one, but um, I've never, never really used one. What did it just use? Why did it fail? Um, but anyways, uh, moving on from dragon type, we have ghost types. Um, ghost types are cool. I'm happy Ash finally got his hands on one. If I remember correctly, I might be wrong. But, um, those types are awesome. I love the designs, I love their ideas. Um, they are usually the scary type. In the regards of, um, they're just... They are meant to be creepier, because they're undead, essentially. Um, and I, I know a lot of games like to run off that theme, like Snake. Um, if you've ever played Pokemon Snake with a ROM hack, um, it's like that. It's, it, it's the same, same thing, you know? I almost did the same thing as the last time. Ghost types are cool. Um, same same gimmick. They're interesting designs. I just I, I love ghost types. They're cool. Um, but after that we have dark types. Dark types got way more hate than they deserve, and I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair to guard um, dark types personally. Um, I was happy that they finally got a gym after so 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 long. But um, dark types are cool. Dark types are cool, man. Um, I don't think that the reach of fighting, and I know you gotta, like, balance the meta in that regard. Did you really just get out of that ball? Leafeon, you're not really... 
I, I want you, but you're not that much worth it, you know? Like, you're not, like, necessary. You're gonna sit in the box. But you should stay in the ball either way. There you go. There you go. I don't have a name for you. I don't have a name for you. That, that's that's uh, my end-all, be-all issue. Um... Alright, we're gonna go off your... We're gonna go off your, uh, COVID entry. Ver... Since you're the Verdon Pokemon, we'll call you Verdanti. Welcome to the team. Or the, ooh, you're holding something. What are you holding? Give me your item. TM08. Uh, what is TM08? Eh! Eh. Could be better, could be worse. Um. But Dark Knights don't get the rep they deserve, in my opinion. Oh, I gotta write down the next copy. then I will have to make my decision on whether or not, um, or I have to talk to my peeps, you know, on to whether or not, um, to keep that encounter. Um, but you have to let me know how you feel about it. Let's get the Eterna City encounter right here. Eterna I hope you can catch things in Eterna City. I mean, there wouldn't be water here for no reason, right? Oh, jeez. It's gonna turn one of into one of these again, huh? But after dark types become steel types, um, you know, they're just cannon fodder. Or, like, the butt under- the, the, the dirt under my heel. Because I- you, I'm a fire type guy. Um, this is what I prefer. I prefer so steel type there's never been a threat. Um, I'd say that and Bryson's probably gonna kick my ass, but can I get something here? So upset. I mean I don't have the old rod, but come on. I got places to be, man. I got people to excite. This is really upsetting. Do not tell me I cannot catch anything in Eternal City. Do not- that- that is false. That is falsified news. Alright, we're looking it up real quick. Eterna... City. You can! There's a catch rate of 100 on Magikarp! Even with the old rod. Fuck you. No, I know I can catch something here. All right. <laughs> Come on. Ah! What are you? Aww. Yeah, it was worth the wait. Also, actually found oh, like the perfect replacement. Well, I mean, if anything happens to Chili, which won't, it's fucking Chili. Chili's a god, all right. Mm -hmm. Um, but this would be this would be good if we needed another ice table too, or we need to, uh, for whatever reason, say goodbye to one. Uh, but it's good that we have we're getting back up. Pigmon. Well, um, in honor of the anime, we will call you Dusk. Unlike Dawn. Less sad. Perfect. Treasure right there. Alright. No, we technically have two encounters if I can make it over. Oh, man. Sorry this is becoming such a long episode, you guys. HP up. Also a this is the encounter. 
Oh, it's a fucking Bulbasaur! Oh my god! I really hope I catch this. I really hope I catch this. I like Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur. Um, but where was I? See you next. Not really much to me, man. It's kind of just there. Kind of just there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And finally, I believe that wraps us up at two fairy types, and the fairy types are pretty nice. I got, I gotta say, I do like me. I do like me some fairies. I do like fairies a lot. It's just some. Um, it's just, it's just uh, that they're new, and I love how they changed the meta. Alright, we need to thunder with this thing. We need to give ourselves the best possible odds of catching the Bulbasaur. Once again, I don't think I changed the encounter rates to flat. So, this Bulbasaur should have a high catch rate. Or, not a counter rate, sorry. Cat, uh, have a low catch rate. I also- Oh, you a bitch for that! You a bitch for that! Mm. This Bulbasaur is really fighting for its life, huh? But a lot. It will not win! Kingsley is here. Ow. You don't kill it, Kingsley. <gasps> Kingsley, you G! I think I'm going for the nest ball. Straight up. Hit the lower level. So I'm straight up for it. Yep. 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 Oh, Kingsley! Oh, you haven't had so any screen time in such a long time, and then you just caught us this G, this legend. Thank you so much, Kingsley. Um, because of Kingsley, I will call you. Sir. As in Servant. So we technically have one more encounter we can get done. Technically. Probably shouldn't waste this because it will survive the poisoning, but. Sharon would have been interesting, too. Sharon would have been interesting. I'm glad we got what we got, though. I don't. Oh shit. Let me out. Let me out! Why are you not letting me out? You're a lower level than me. I thought it was based off level. Get, get the fuck away from me. I thought you were interesting for no goddamn reason. But, 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 but. Fairy types are cool. Uh, favorite type is fire. If we're going by top five, um, it's gotta be. Alright, I already forgot. Fairy is definitely one of them. Fairy, Psychic, Dragon, uh, Fire, all that sort Can't pinpoint the last one, though. Would not be able to tell you. Would not be able to tell you what I prefer in the top five. Alright, we're gonna get that last encounter, and then we're gonna call it an episode. We're gonna, we're gonna call it. We're gonna... Blitz over to her. Okay, I think it's Cornette. I think that's the one that's next. So I have to battle you to get this encounter. Alright, good. Mm. Not Cornette. Yep. I'm write that down. No. Cornette. All right, you're the last encounter of the day. Let's see what you get me. Mm. 
Good thing Kingsley knows not to rush. Doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, fuck this thing, man. Let's kill it. I don't want a damn soul rock. I don't want to waste precious balls on it. Fuck this thing, man. Man, fuck them soul rocks. I don't even know if soul rocks any good. I've never used one. Never used soul rock. But anyway, we gotta check for next episode because I might have to do a grinding session for my battle with Gardenia. So, um, we need to get our Mount Coronet encounter, because it was that guy. I hope this is not a psychic place, because I will freak the fuck out if I run into a goddamn Wobbuffet once again. So let's just get out of here properly. No. I don't think, okay, so we're good for now. I'm not gonna battle these trainers. I'm, I'm saving for my grinding session. Me. Oh, that cocksucker! Mm. Motherfucker! Oh, you're dead! You're dead, man! God damn it! I don't want to keep be I don't want to keep everyone here longer than they have to. Fuck! I'm so sorry. No! Stop making this battle longer than it needs to be. <laughs> Things are gonna over and come kick some ass. I'm so mad. I'm, I'm very not happy right now. I've been trying to, I was trying to avoid this man. He just shows up on my front door. I don't even think Kinsley will be able to like eat. That was a friend. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you! Fuck this trainer. <laughs> but they got the trainer, fuck you. Probably best that Kings is fighting it. Mm -hmm. Everybody, 15 minutes. All because I decided to take care of four counters all at once. My fault, y'all. Thank you for those who have stuck through the entire episode. I appreciate you guys. I mean, I appreciate all of you guys. But thank you for the people that uh, that watch episodes. Cool. It'll be uh, pretty cool. awesome. Show them how much better you are, Rihanna.
show them your wow this wow this man really is like look at that 50 minute mark your viewers won't mind dress I mean, as long as you I mean, whatever, you, you we can stand in battle forever. <laughs> Fuck this guy. You, yeah, yeah, fuck off. Eat it. Oh my fucking god. Anything to halt my frog. I could've got a Venusaur. I could've got a Venusaur. This is like that fucking Pokemon episode where there's just Bulbasaur and Venusaur just chilling. Alright. With that, I think we are going to call this an episode. Um, keep in mind, everyone, that there will most likely be a grinding sesh because I just looked, at least for her Platinum Team, um, or Gardenia's Platinum Team, and her Ace is level 22, so we are definitely gonna try to hit that threshold today, or at some point, with grinding. And I also gotta decide, because look at all these extra team members we have now. Oh, man. Gotta make some decisions. Gotta make some decisions. Gotta see who's on and who's off. Oh, jeez. <sighs> wow, that trainer really tired me out, huh? Well, anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in this far. I know it's been a long one. Um, if you guys like what you have seen, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. We finally made it to Eterna City, and we got a lot done. We got a lot done this episode, but I have a lot to do to prepare to uh, make sure I don't get my ass absolutely thrashed and handed to. But, that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate it if you're still here, and really appreciate it if you're here at all. But anyways, as the save timer winds down, is your boy, Shogun that leader here, signing off. Take it easy, guys.